The sculpted bedrock landscape of French River has long attracted attention. Sculpted forms, as forms, have been described at many locations and attributed to glacial erosion because they were closely associated with glaciated bedrock. We surveyed 16 sites. To summarize, we review seven sites in a series of six videos. We see different types of rock erosion. These erosion forms occur independent of rock structure. Low reliefs are sculpted with crescentic and long furrows. High reliefs are sculpted into group of rock drumlins covered with crescentic furrows. This is the case for many islands. There are two basic models to explain these forms. Slow glacial abrasion by a moving ice sheet or debris beneath the ice. Rapid subglacial erosion by turbulent water flow. Field study is consistent with one main sculpting event across French River terrain. This singularity supports the subglacial flood model. Four settings support this model. Identical S-forms produced in Flume Laboratory, S-forms sculpted by tsunamis, also sculpted by Yokelop, S-forms sculpted in turbulent flow in water or wind. As flow encounters an obstacle, longitudinal features in the flow become agents of rock erosion. Flow around obstacles initiates upflow crescentic erosion leading to crescentic furrows. Crescentic horseshoe vortices extend downflow as longitudinal vortices to form long furrows. The first video, Henvy Flat Island, illustrates the crescentic to longitudinal form motif. Pairs of longitudinal furrows result in a remnant ridge or rock drumlin. Video 3 describes this terrain at German Island Site 5. We now look at another crescentic form, a sickle form. These forms occur in clusters representing organized structure in the flow. Site 6, Outer Folks Island, illustrates sickle-shaped forms, Suchalvanen. Drones capture multi-scale erosion forms. Crescentic furrows 5 to 15 meters wide occur upflow of rock forms. Video 3, German Island, illustrate hierarchy in form scale. These erode terrains indicate turbulence in separate flow. Take the example of simulate water flow on a rise. Vortices form, particularly at transverse rollers, here in blue, at breaks in slope. Fields of vortices disperse from transverse vortices at hydraulic jump. Transverse vortices, rollers, are stable at breaks in slope. These transverse rollers are well known in hydrodynamic engineering. River surfers and kayakers use such rollers. Stable horseshoe vortices form crescentic erosional furrows. Long furrows extend downflow. Flow evolves rapidly to fields of horseshoe vortices. Fields of crescentic erosion forms, Sushalvanen, appear to develop from such a flow event. The result is a field of self-organized S-forms. Main forms show directional integrity with no cross-cutting fields. Differential erosion processes occur on the downflow lee side. At the break, some longitudinal vortices convert to vertical vortices and erode potholes. Video 4, Key River and Hanvey Inlet illustrate pothole formation. On Lee's side, plucking is common along existing joints. Video 5, Plucking Island illustrates different types of plucking. Plucking can be modified by water erosion. 
Video 6 Cavitation Island illustrates such modified plucking. Video 6 also describes small pit forms associated with S forms and plucking. Bedrock at all study sites is deplete from ice transport basal sediment. From the presence of boulder clusters, one can summarize the following sequence of events. First, basal sediment was eroded away. Second, bedrock was sculpted with crescentic and long furrows. Then, boulder clusters collect in the furrows. Boulder percussion marks may be due to stuss side collision, more likely due to bouncing along in high velocity flow. Impact from regrounding of lifted ice is also possible for some marks. A topic beyond the scope of these six videos is the importance of structural geology to the style and positions of erosion forms. Granville Province granite mafic rocks are very hard, yet formations show variable resistance of erosion. Inlets and island ridges are clear examples of differential erosion. However, all rock types were eroded into S-forms. Structural control on rock erosion is for another day. Stay tuned.